Jeff Koontz rose to prominence in the mid-1980s as part of a generation of artists who explored the meaning of art in a media-saturated era and the attendant crisis of representation, drawing on the visual language of advertising, marketing. A piece like Tulips, I'm sure that I was, you know, thinking about the bouquet, the sense of offering, of uh, kind of generosity of offering something, a symbol of future and, uh, and of hope and of uh, the continuation, you know, this celebrating life energy, celebrating what it means to be human and what our potential is. This is one of five variants, each one unique, and the other four are in either private foundations or museums, the Guggenheim, the Prada Foundation. So this is a very, very special object. The tulip symbolizes a simple flower. It's a flower that just, it's joy. Everything that we know about tulips as far as a kind of a history, it's kind of Dutch background, there's kind of a simplicity. The idea really comes from a balloon tulip, uh, where you have a balloon like maybe at a child's birthday party, and it's a blown up, you just create kind of the bulb, and you use the, uh, the rest of the balloon from the stem. In Paris, a huge, eye-catching sculpture named the Bouquet of Tulips has been unveiled to remember the victims of the 2015 terror attacks. The American artist Jeff Koons created the 11 tulips from bronze, aluminium and steel, and its installation ends three years of dispute over its location. It was feared the sculpture would interrupt views of the Eiffel Tower before it was installed at the Petit Palais Art Museum. And you can get more on that story and everything else on the programme on our website. That's at bbc.com. Jeff Koons is an American contemporary artist who is best known for his reproductions of commonplace objects, such as his stainless steel balloon animals. He was born on January 21st in the year 1955 in York, Pennsylvania. Kuhn's father, Henry, was an interior decorator and furniture dealer while his mother was a housewife and a seamstress. He studied painting at the School of Art Institute of Chicago and the Maryland Institute College of Art. After college, he worked at the Museum of Modern Art while trying to establish himself as an artist. In 1980, he...